Hey dudes, welcome to Mad Drive Stuff. Today we are riding a uh, 2012 Husqvarna Nuda 900. They're um, the first road going bike that Husqvarna has done in like 50 years or something. They don't get manufactured anymore, which is actually a bit of a shame. Um, they've got some pretty wacky styling, these ones. They're all kind of super motor kind of looking, um, but they're actually just a a new bike. The dash is all a little bit techy. I mean, it's a fairly new bike, so it's got, got quite a fair bit of technology. Uh, this bike does share uh, quite uh, quite a few components with the um, BMW F800. Um, well, actually, it's the, the engine that's similar. Um, however, from about here up. It's all it's all nude off. Here down is your BMW part. So uh, they've uh, bought and stroked it out to uh, give it an extra 100 cc's over the uh, BMW F800, uh, and along with that, you get extra fun. Um, anyway, it's a pretty wacky looking bike, but I think it looks pretty cool. Let's uh, let's get on and then check out what it's like, eh? So check out this uh, ignition sequence here. Just by flicking it on. These bikes sound freaking amazing though. I really love the sound of this bike. So uh, let's go, eh? Yeah. No the first thing you'll notice on the Nuda is how high the seating position is. You really are high, and to get both feet flat on the ground when you're stationary probably requires you to be at least six foot tall. The second thing you'll notice is that the seating position is really far forward. Now, both these attribute to neither here nor there, and if you initially find it a little off-putting at first, stick with it because you will get used to it, and I think this bike is worth it. Now, there are things that I absolutely loved about this bike and other things that I really didn't. What I didn't love about this bike is how twitchy it felt in traffic. The throttle and brakes are both really sensitive, and the last thing you want to do is run to the back of a half million dollar Bentley. Whilst I really liked the seating position, I found it difficult to lean into bends and I was finding I would understeer on tighter turns. Now this is probably more due to me not being used to the bike's handling as the owner of this bike sets fairly respectable times on the track and does take it through traffic on an almost daily basis. And whilst I really like the gauges and the startup sequence adds a little bit of pre-ride G up, I found the, the digital speedo really hard to read when the sunlight hit it. Now the things that I loved about this bike has to start with the sound of that engine. Oh my god, it sounds good. And I mean, really, really good. The 900cc twin cylinder has a 315 degree offset crankshaft, which means that cylinders are firing a little bit offset like they wouldn't have a twin. And it gives it this low, throaty, almost aggressive rumble, which does get me a little bit excited. And I loved how this engine pulls as well. It's putting out 78 kilowatts and 100 newton meters of torque, and it only has to shift 178 kilos of bike. So it didn't matter what gear I was in or what speed I was doing, when I twisted that throttle, that bike moved. And the seating position I found really comfortable as well. The handlebars are dirt bike wide and does leave your body feeling a little bit open, but that little bit of raked plastic in front of the gauges keeps the wind from catching you. Now the Nuda does really want to be set free and is much happier on open roads than in the city. I'm not really sure what niche this bike is trying to fill and I guess that's the problem with it and the reason why it only had such a short production run. The market for people after a naked sports bike that's sort of like a dirt bike only not must be pretty small which is a shame because this bike is pretty unique and I think it's pretty rad. The dealers were doing pretty good offers on these bikes when they finished production and if you look hard enough, you still might find one that's dealer fresh. Their starting price was 14 grand, but I've heard of dealers going for as little as, as 11. And for the pre-loved models, you're probably looking at only 8 or 9. And to be fair, that's a lot of bike for that sort of money. Now, if this sounds alright to you and you love people asking you, what is that bike? This might just be for you. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, check out my Twitter feed, check out my Instagram, uh, do all those things you kind of meant to do. I'm about to run out of battery here, so 
Next, I'm going to be riding a uh, Yamaha R1, I think it's a 2009 model. Uh, hope you had fun. See you then.